did you know that Angular has an official development tools Chrome extension? In this video, I'm going to show you a quick guided tour of the Angular development tools. You're going to learn how to use them to debug your application in development mode and also how to use it to do performance troubleshooting. Without further ado, let's get started with this Angular development tools quick guide. Welcome back to the Angular University channel, I'm Vasco. The first thing that you need to do is head over to the Chrome Web Store and search for the Angular DevTools Chrome extension. Go ahead and add it to your Chrome browser and then restart it. Next, you're going to need some sort of application to troubleshoot. I'm going to be using here one of my code bases, which is an Angular application. Let me go ahead and let me open here the developer tools. And here on this dropdown, you should see the Angular option here. Go ahead and click on it, and this will turn on the Angular development tools. Now, let's have a look at what we have here. We have several tabs. We have the Components tab, the Profiler tab, and the Injector Tree tab. Let's start with the Components tab, which is probably the one that you're going to be using the most. This tab contains here a full component tree of your Angular application. And notice that these DevTools work in development mode. All of this information is not going to be present in production mode. Now, you can see here that we have the complete component tree and as I over over the component tree the corresponding component gets highlighted here in the browser viewport so if I highlight here the top menu the top menu gets highlighted and I have here other components such as for example here the courses component the courses list and inside each list you have the different course cards now you can click into these components and you're going to see here uh, the inputs of the component. You can also see here the values of the different properties. You can change some of these properties as well. So for example, I can change this from true to false, and this is going to hide here the editable commands such as the edit button or the status of the course. So you can change some of the properties here in the component tree directly and see the effect reflected in the user interface immediately. So this comes in very handy for troubleshooting at development time. Next up, we have the profiler tab. This is meant to be used if something is feeling slow in your application and you want to understand the root cause. So go ahead and hit the recording button here and start a profiling session and start interacting here with your application. So you can see that there was a red bar there. Let's stop here the profiler and let's click here in one of these bars. And now we can click to the previous frame until we get to the part where we want to profile. In this case, it's not like the application is slow. This application is very fast. But if you would be in a situation where something is slow, you can check in this particular change detection cycle what took so long. So you can see that in this particular component, there was this changes method here that took 65 milliseconds. And you can see here what took uh, the time here in the rest of this particular change detection cycle. Here on this one, you can see also what went wrong. So each bar corresponds to a change detection cycle in your Angular application. You can see this under the form of a bar chart, or you can also see a tree map or even a flame graph. And this will help you identify the performance bottlenecks in your application. Next up, you also have the injector tab. So here you have two sections. You can see here your hierarchy of injectors in your application, and you also have here an element hierarchy. So this might come in handy if you want to troubleshoot your dependency injection hierarchy tree, if you are having trouble injecting a certain instance of a service somewhere, this might help you identify where the problem is. But in most of the cases, I think that you will be using mostly the components tab on an everyday basis and from time to time the profiler tab. Those are going to be the two most useful tabs of the Angular developer tools. 
please leave me a like if you found this video helpful and also comment here what other content you would like to see in the Angular University YouTube channel. If you are looking to learn Angular, check out my courses here at the Angular University. You have courses for all levels from beginners to advanced. You have a TypeScript Bootcamp, an RxJS course, a Forms and Router course, Reactive Angular course and much more. So go ahead and check it out. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time.